Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's WK Dad. Uh, I feel that tis the season for inherent special summonings. And I say this because with the release of Max C, it's going to make playing decks that uh, spam special summonings uh, more difficult to play. Uh, we're at first in the early rounds of locals, regionals, YCSs. Uh, you didn't have to worry too much about playing around Max C's. But now with everyone having pretty much equal access to Max C, the kid with the 60 card deck and no sleeves is going to be able to drop that Max C on your turn one Magician Shark and then draw the Valor and the Gores to totally fuck you up. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, good for him. I I'm glad that the 60 card deck kid is moving up in the world. He doesn't have a name yet. I haven't. I'll soon I'll come up with a name for the 60 card deck kid because I refer to that kid a lot. He's pretty popular. <laughs> but I think that decks like uh, uh, Chaos Dragons and Agents, uh, to some extent, Spellbooks, fucking Megalobis when he comes out. My God, the thing is a monster. Now, his effect does start a chain, but if you max C Megalobis when he special summon, it's not going to matter. Because the card that you trade for this Megalobis coming out, you're going to lose two cards on your field. So they're like, sure, draw cards, dude. I blew up all your shit and I'm OTKing you now. So, so um, yeah. Uh, and again, like Priestess from Spellbooks, uh, when you reveal three Spellbooks to Special Summon her, that starts to chain. But when she hits the field, she's like Hyperion. And they can just sit back and just blow your shit up. Say, well, I wasn't going to go off this turn anyway. I just wanted to make a... I just wanted to set up my board. And I got this fat bitch on the field. And I'm just going to start popping your shit. Oh, Dark Hole. Ooh, look, I have Wisdom. Pop something else. Compulse. Ooh, look, I have Wisdom. Pop some more shit. Ooh, Deep Prison. I have Wisdom. Pop some more shit. Game. So, <laughs> um, things are going to be rough. I gave up Geargeus uh, just because that deck cannot win against uh, Mermails. Yes, I know Soul Drain and Macrocosmos are cards, but you got to draw that shit. And it's not fair. I can I can play conservative, you know. I'll be like, okay, summon Thunder King, set Soul Drain, go. MST, Megalobiz, derp! <laughs> <laughs> or you know I could play even more conservative I like set like Starlight Road and Macrocosmos and then they double MST like a boss and go derp <laughs> I mean you know like well Dub K you know they have the nuts you're gonna lose anyway well yeah cause I lose anyway cause my opponent always has the fucking nuts it, it's so annoying and you know when you side in Macrocosmos it doesn't make sense to keep in your Valors and your Maxis because the hope is that the Macrocosmos will stay on board long enough. And then if you draw the Max of the Valor, that's dead cards. So when they go MST, MST, derp, you know, I don't have a Valor or a Max C. I just want to go punch a baby. I'll be right back. This isn't a baby, but I'm going to punch the thing anyway. <laughs> um... But you know, the cool thing about Inherent Special Summonings is uh, they render Max C's kind of pointless. I mean, if you can read a Special Summoning is coming, uh, you could potentially just Max C for the hell of it. But being a Chaos Dragon player, you know, they're sitting there like, oh, random Max C? Well, I'll just sit on my six cards that contains two Gores and a Trigodi or two Trigodias and a Gores. Uh, past turn, sir. Are you mad? We just went minus. <laughs> and uh, I just feel that moving forward, I think that those kind of decks, either decks that can special summon big monsters inherently or uh, can do unfair things to make your maxi irrelevant are going to you know, be the norm. I look at Japan 
and how well their machine or gadget deck is doing. The the deck with the gadgets, template goldfish, excuse me, and the uh, one gear frame and the fortresses that do the derpy shit and you can spam Shockmaster really easy. Uh, you know, Shockmaster is the card that makes Max C irrelevant unless you draw into the Veiler with it. Um, over there in Japan, they like wind-ups because they have an easier OTK than we do uh, because they have Volcanosaurus and we don't. So they can easily just, you know, do shit attack. Oh, we have Gores, main phase two, Volcanosaurus, boom, game. So they don't necessarily need the Shockmaster to game you. They can just wait for you to drop the Gores and blow that shit up for game. Um, something else um, to consider. Uh, Mermel Atlanteans. Jesus Christ. <sighs> that deck is pretty much in Zectors 2.0. Wouldn't you agree? It does all the shit that Insectors do. Searches all the unfair shit to their hand. Blows shit up for free. It's like the shit just won't die. And I know that Macrocosmos and uh, Soul Drainer cards and, you know, they're good side deck cards right now with the deck coming out. But it's like you have to draw that shit. And, of course, they're going to side. If you side Macrocosmos and Soul Drain, you know they're going to side in their extra spell and trap removal. So it's like a fucking crapshoot. If they win game one, you get to go first and you open with your shit. You know, as luck would dictate that you open with your counter, you know, of course, they're going to open with the counter to your counter. <laughs> so, you know, what do you do? I don't know, this is kind of a disjointed rant. I haven't put up a video in a week. I've just been overall irritated with the game. I Right now, I've been playing Karibo Chaos again. Uh, if you guys want to see my new Karibo Chaos build, thumbs up this video. Uh, it's a lot of fun. I, I use it this weekend at Locals shit ton of fun. The cool thing about this deck is that it's Kribo Chaos Dragons, so to speak. And I played a couple of mirror matches and the funny fucking thing was I was able to drop multiple pulsars faster than my opponents playing Chaos Dragons. And, you know, it was crazy. I was just like, this is stupid. I can make Exabeetle, Bowser, and a Tomb in one fucking turn. Are you serious right now? <laughs> and my opponent's just like looking like, what the fuck are you playing? Karibo the fuck? And I mean, just like, you just have these Karibos in, in your hand and shit. Like, oh shit, light and dark. I'll just pitch it for Pulsar, you know? And, you know, the, the deck is fucking fun. And that's all I'm that's all I'm really about right now is having fun because I don't like anything. I wanted to play Mermails and then I realized, oh shit, if I played Mermails, it'd be like Gear G is all over again because I'm gonna play the mirror match. I'm gonna open subpar, my opponent's gonna open amazing, and they're gonna shit on me and I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> and I really want I really wanted to play Gear G as I, I started a discussion on it on an archetype but that just that deck just does not like me and so then like I said I wanted to play mermails and I started you know researching on how the deck works and you know trying to make deals on picking up the Mulan Glaciers and all the cards for when the set comes out this weekend and I was like shit there are a lot of people going to be playing that deck I do not want to play the mirror match it's going to be stupid. So that deck got trashed. So the only thing I can hope for is the quick release of Ptolemy's Messier 7. And I know Maxi fucks up Hieratics. I know, I know, I know. But the way I plan to play the deck 
it's kind of like a control version where I don't spam the field unless they don't have the max C. They drop the max C, and I just end my field with a, you know, a Messier 7 and a Tomb or a Bouncer and a Tomb or something like that. The way you should be playing the deck anyway. Ten minutes of me rambling. Hope you guys had fun. <laughs> Dove Gay Dad trying to care about Yu-Gi-Oh! Not successful. And I'm out.